hi everybody uh, i'll be i will presenting a lightning talk on you know chrome, uh, finding memory leaks with chrome to chrome dev tools so let, let's get started uh, so just a uh, just a quick definition before what what memory leak is it's it's a sudden or incremental increase of memory over a period of time in your application which uh, makes other applications slow in in your in, in your laptop so which obviously with the increase of time your app consumes a little bit more energy uh, what memory but that sudden spike or irregular pattern is what we call as memory leak <clears throat> and that is not later freed up by a garbage collector so uh, at os level we have we already use these tools like activity monitor in in mac task manager in windows and all that to just see which uh, application in your os is using a lot eating a lot of memory uh, but to go a little bit more further for to to simplify in your in, in terms of application we have something called chrome task manager which shows uh, which each tab <coughs> how much memory is been taken it has lots of parameters like memory memory is the native memory in, in your os and then the the tab which we are interested in is called javascript memory so this is basically the heap size of your uh, heap size his heap memory size and if you see the the number in the brackets that's called uh, that's actually the objects which are reachable in your code <clears throat> so let, let's try to understand what what exactly that is so if you know how the garbage collector works is it's going to remove all the objects which are unreachable <clears throat> if it doesn't have a reference for example if we have an object and uh, let's say it's, it's declared globally and uh, we have we added a property called name to it react day and then as you know there is a reference uh, to reach this object we have a reference now if we put the conference as null itself right and then the reference is lost because this object was already there and the reference for this is lost now here is where the garbage collector comes in and says okay this is not needed it doesn't have any root references so i'm going to clean that up so that is a little bit about garbage collector just link very uh, uh, very overview term that's it now let's try to understand <coughs> uh, now we know uh, what uh, memory uh, memory leak looks like now let's try to how do you diagnose uh, diagnose this kind of problem right so uh, we have a couple of tools in in chrome uh, the first tool which i like is called uh, profiles in memory tab so basically with this tool what you do is you take a heap snapshot at a particular instance in your app right so when you do that you get the list of all the objects everything which takes up the memory right now obviously just looking at this is kind of like overwhelming you know understanding where these things come in where the what is the object and everything but um, what you can do is actually after uh, for example you are interacting with the application and you 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 have concluded that okay when i'm switching from one channel to another in in my application uh, that is you know taking a lot of time <clears throat> so what you do is you take a snapshot before the before switching to a channel and then after switching to a channel to again you take a snapshot now when you do a comparison as as you see here then you will understand why uh, what new objects were created and uh, which objects were you know uh, which were retained so the better way to do would be to if you go to something called class filter here you can actually type detached so detached will list all the detached dom nodes all the strings all the functions everything which does not have any reference <coughs> to the actual code so uh, if you go obviously when you go when you start opening these tabs up it will be kind of a rabbit hole <laughs> because that's how our applications have become but you will have to be a little patient to understand where or what uh, where from where this object is coming from so that 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 can that can give you an, an approximate idea okay, okay this is the component this component might be responsible now again you see memory leaks <coughs> there are two types first is a memory leak happens at a one particular spot and then uh, the memory yeah, uh, can yeah. you zoom in a little bit we can't read it can you zoom in a little bit okay okay 
Okay. Oh, these are slides, right? Oh, yeah, this is, I don't think I can zoom. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, then we'll move forward. Yeah. No, okay. bro, no worries. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyways, even the, <laughs> yeah, this Chrome DevTools are a bit dense, you know, even if you open the application, it's like a lot of things and a lot of, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I was, uh, so I was saying that, uh, it's better to run. Yeah, uh, I was thinking about the types of memory loss, right? So if it's the first type where you know where you know this particular component is causing it, it's really really easy to go and fix that component. But if memory is leaking from various spots, <coughs> and you have small small leaks in many places, then it becomes very hard to you know uh, pinpoint the the problem. So if it is first, if you, if you see okay, this is a component which is leaking memory, it's really easy. You go ahead and fix it, and bam, the problem is solved. Uh, and then, okay, <clears throat> this just gives you an idea where exactly, you know, which is that which approximately the component is responsible for. Now, there's something called JavaScript profiler. This is really this is really useful if you want to know where, how much time your app is spending in which function, right? If you open that, you will. Uh, yeah, there is something. If you see, there is garbage collector is being run thirty four percent of the time. Now, running garbage collector, you know, it's obviously that is an automatic process. But every time a garbage collector runs on your application, your application freezes for that particular small amount of time. That's that. That's how the nature of uh, browsers is, right? So obviously, you want to you don't you, you don't want the garbage collector to run every time so that you know app so that your app freezes up. So again, over here also is kind of a rabbit hole to, you know, which function calls which function, blah, 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 blah. Again, uh, gives you an idea of where approximately which function is taking a lot of time. And then uh, this is really easy. Uh, we What we usually do is we, we open a performance monitor up and we then we interact, we try to interact with the application and see what changed. <coughs> Right, we go. We open a channel. We open a new, new uh, direct message or a group message, and see how much the memory have increased. And then, if that memory is not released, right? If you see there is a spike over here, and then after some time the spike goes down, that means that's fine. The garbage collector collected the references which are not there. But if you if you see the graph is like uh, it's going up, and then it stays the same again. Again, you do a operation in your application. Again, it stays the same. So th that means that particular interaction in your app has a problem. <clears throat> and also, it, it also has good uh, attribute, like how many JSC when listeners are there and everything and all that. Now, um, let's come to uh, I know all this. Let's come to understanding of how we had uh, we had a very hectic week of uh, actual perform memory leak back in February in Mattermost application. So if you don't know what Mattermost is, it's uh, it's a chat, it's collaboration platform, uh, which started as, as a chat application for enterprises. <laughs> it's an open source software. Uh, uh, yeah. So so basically this, uh, so the, the, the way we do the incident report is we first write what, what is the incident, what, what impacted, so which customers are impacted and what exactly is the impact and what is the timeline of the fix and then what was the root cause, and then we give the recovery. So let's try to, you know, go, uh, uh, let's try to go into that incident. So basically, we, we started to observe that uh, web app was suffering when the customer, when a particular customer or, or a user had a large number of direct messages or group messages. And then, uh, then we, we thought, okay, that was the incident. And then the impact was it was not impacting all the clients or all the users, but the users which had lots of channels who were who were participant of a lot of channels, a lot of DMs and GMs. But the users who were who were kind of like moderate users were not you know seeing this uh, seeing this uh, leak. Uh, and then uh, the timeline was as soon as we shipped uh, uh, the new version, the uh, the. Uh, the clients, which a lot of user bases started to see this problem. <coughs> so then we, under we understood that we uh, we pointed out that this is the particular release that was that happened and that exaggerated the memory leak. So what we so so what was the root cause? <coughs> so basically, 
there was a i mean this is like this is everything which was which is written down in the in a document but basically to to sum that up is there was a very bad redux selector which was running on every keystroke <clears throat> and and that particular selector was actually placed very further down uh very further up in the component tree so that was rendering everything as you know we were, we were striking the keystroke uh so we had to memorize that selector and you know bring that up to a place where it will not run again and again so uh these were the two prs that went in uh again it's an open source you can actually see this prs over there what what was improved uh so basically we had to move few selectors out from the text box components of the box component where we actually type the messages to a provider above and then we had to get a new selector which was uh, and 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 also another another selector which which had to be memorized so that so basically every time a selector runs it gets a new objects so whenever it gets a lot of number of objects the garbage color kicks in and it as until the objects are cleared the app freezes so that that's that exactly what was happening and um there was another pr again to contract the effect where we had to change a lot of users uh, states in the user object um so basically these two fixes went in and uh, that this was the response from the customer it uh, the timeline for this fixes were about approximately one and a half week so it started from uh, day one is identifying which customers were affected and what we have to do so it, it wasn't just a uh, a linear approach we had to go back to memory time uh, uh, memory profiles and see what was causing it again go back to try to do this fix it was not a linear process but it was a lot of to and fro and to and fro to come to that conclusion um i think uh, that's all i had to share uh, thank you so much